but this is my favorite segment. Some guys dream about money, fortune, and fame, but this is my kind of fantasy. Our crossover fantasy league, we're gonna do just a quick recap of what our week three and week four has happened. Let's pull up our week three results. We have oh, Chrissy gosh. here and we have PJ. We're gonna talk a little bit about it. Goes, I lost this week for pretty close four or five. How did you do on this week, Chrissy? Well, Numbers don't lie. <laughs> I lost eight one. Wow. We got two let's, teams let's that got roasted. Fair, let's, yeah. Come on, Steph Curry was on the other team. Mm. He had an amazing week that week. Yeah, and he two. he broke the NBA record for most threes in a game. He had 13 threes, mm. and uh, yeah, he just killed me. <laughs> we had two teams that got roasted. We had Commander Xander and we got PP. POP hold it down. Good thing Commander Xander's not here. Yeah, hopefully. Good thing he's not here because he did really bad. pretty good on this one. He did really bad and I think Chrissy didn't really hold it down. <laughs> <laughs> Change that name, yo, just POP. Okay, yeah. let's, let's pull up our week four so we can forget about this year because we all lost. Yes, yes. Let's, let's, uh, let's see that week four. That's the last week four. Mm. Okay, never mind. <laughs> this is my worst week, guys. My worst week. I lost 2-7 yeah. to Steph two Curry. Seven. That was the team that beat him 8-1. See? So see? Steph Curry. I can understand your pain. I, I see where you're coming from. I think Steph Curry, whoever is facing the team, well, Scott's team is just... Scott's team is doing really well. <laughs> really well. Right? Yeah. So. well. Last week was the week when Steph Curry woke up anyway. Yeah. He just he started... He basically took over. Yeah. Right. But look, look at me, guys. I still don't have a W, but uh, I didn't get a tie. <laughs> It'll come sooner or later, right? Yeah. Okay. So um, I'm not sure if we have it. We can pull up the week standing. So this is our week four week <sighs> standing. So we can see how we're doing so far. So Scott's team, congrats! Whoa, Shout Scott's out Scott's number Scott's one. Scott's number one. Yep. Best in four one six. Congrats. We're in the bottom. Five. I bottom. <laughs> I'm at the very bottom. Of this Last one. episode, didn't you say you're gonna be number one? Okay, yeah, I understand. What was that? It's it's um, uh, trust the process. The trust the process. <laughs> it's a long season. Like Joel, you just indeed. yep. Trust the process. All right. Uh, all right. So that's all we have for fantasy. Thank you guys. Now here we are to see the highlights picked by one of your own, Crazy. Let's check this out. Oh, oh my God! Does that shock? Wow, in the fourth quarter, too. Why did you choose this, Crazy? Why did, why did you, you choose, choose, why this, did you choose this? Because Harden is amazing with the basketball. As you can see, cross. crossover, crossover, bang, Cooking. step back, and he hits the jumper. Oh. That's, ama that's an amazing play. How can you not pick this? I, I feel like he's one of the... I, I think he has the nat, not the nat, but the best step back, I think, of the, like, you know, oh, in yeah, the NBA for right sure. now. For right? sure. I think he has the... That was lost, huh? right? Yeah, he just... Oh, I, I feel like the difference so between him and, 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 and Westbrook, Westbrook has a very more aggressive kind of game. He, he It's more force, yeah, I feel like. exactly. But with Harden's game, it's so smooth. Like, even that crossover and that's, it felt like it's on the flow. Uh, it's, it flows more nicely. The yeah, way when, when he, the way he runs the offense, because yeah. Mike D'Antoni, he made him the point guard. Exactly. Mm -hmm. he, the way he runs the offense is very smooth. It, he plays, like, it, it looks very fancy, but like mm -hmm. if you look at his footwork, it's like all fundamentals. Yeah. It's, it's amazing. I mean that. Sh I mean that step back was just like Dante Exum went on a circus. With yes. That. Oh my goodness. And he was running oh to the baseline. Like, oh, so oh my. my. Dante Exum like, is a pretty good defender too. <laughs> if you really think about it. Oh. He just said, "Oh, I'm gonna just get the rebound." And, <laughs> no. He's like, he's like, let me get the rebound. Oh, there's no rebound. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But didn't you say? Weren't you on the side of Westbrook? I was on the side of Westbrook. So why did you choose this thing? But uh, the reason why I, I chose Westbrook is because he is just an animal. The way he is just carrying his team, the way how he makes just, everyone better. Yeah, team, exactly. So really, I don't think I Adam feel like is, they don't even run an offense. Yeah. He just gives the <laughs> yeah. ball to Westbrook and just I agree with that. everyone cut to the basket. If he finds you, he finds you. If not, he'll take it all the way in and just go in for the layup. Mm. A lot of his players are playing well uh, yeah. just because of how yeah, Westbrook exactly. plays, I think. I mean, Adams, Robertson, Sabonis, their rookie, and, and I think Oladipo as well is coming through as well. Mm -hmm. right? It's good to yeah. see how he can score that much, but then also get his teammates involved, right? Mm -hmm. Let's go back to a comment where you said um, James Harden, That's your, you like his style of play? Yeah, Would I you say like you play like James Harden? No, I would. I, would <laughs> I do not have a step back. I would every time I would cro do those crossovers, I would step back and I I could not put up the shot of air ball it's the shot tough. probably. That's it's tough it's tough, to play, it's like tough to play like Harden. Are you left-handed yeah. too? No. no, I'm not. No. I'm not. I I wish I was now. <laughs> <laughs> You're left-handed. I'm left-handed. I should play like Damn James you. Harden. <laughs>
<laughs> does it does it really does James Harding being left-handed really make a difference in it, and I guess it, when he's I, it does cuz I um, subconsciously like right-handed play, uh, right-handed players are used to defending right-hand people going right uh, on the right right so when you have someone going left it's an, a little bit unorthodox and usually when cuz subconsciously when you're defending you're forcing them to their weak side but you don't notice that this person's weak side is actually their strong side because usually you're going to force them to the left when mm. usually that's your left, you know. And the thing is, even if you know it's coming, we have, I don't know, I, I, I notice myself when I play, I find a way to kind of sneak it in through and end up being on the left side, <laughs> which is finish on my strong side. And I think so you're saying is, you're a good basketball player. <laughs> I'm just saying I, I find NBA ways, worthy. I find ways to get <laughs> through my strength. <laughs> Can you hit a step back? Yeah, it's actually my game. My step back is my my shot. It, yeah. Catch and shoot. That's all me. Yeah. Maybe we should see these two <laughs> face each other. Maybe we'll <laughs> upload a video of them video. actually facing each other, <laughs> and we'll see who's actually a better basketball player or a step oh step back competition. Step back competition. <laughs> 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 that video that we step just watched. Step back competition. <laughs>